Well, you know, I think the message of Three Penny Opera is, you know, there's, you know, it's about how huma how easily humanity is corrupted, and I think that that, you know, and one of the messages of it is the world hasn't changed, and I think that uh, we are still saying that they were saying it then. And we're saying it now. Every single person seems to know. I've actually never been involved in something that has had so much sort of everywhere buzz, like not just theater buzz. I feel like everywhere I go, people have heard about it. It's an exciting, terribly exciting production. He said, don't talk about it, so I'm not going to. But I can honestly say, I wish I was in the audience watching this, because it's a, it's a, it's a gem. Well, there's a man in a gorilla suit. There's, um, there's, um, a chandelier that almost hits the audience, which I think has kind of been done before, but okay. Um, some juggling. Hopefully it will have an urban feel, in a way, because it's modern sort of thing. But um, I wanted to get artists who lived their lives diversely in the thing. And so more, less about making, trying to make it hip and downtown, it was more about getting the most diverse and interesting, some of my favorite artists you know, that I've seen over the years. Everybody has their opportunity on stage to shine. Nobody treads on each other's moments or anything like that. And um, it's been carefully written so that they can have a, quite a few stars up there, all being able to do their own thing. I was wondering about that, though, what people would think because I was a rocker. But they didn't mind and they didn't care and it was all good. And everybody treats everybody the same. I tried to avoid the rest of the cast whenever possible, really. Yeah. Why is that? Um, just not very nice people. It's interesting about what people's preconceived ideas about the character are. And also, you know, you're, when you're famous, it's really hard because everyone, depending on what they've seen and what they have read, have a wide variety of preconceived notions of what you are. So it's always interesting to pin them down. For anything that's eclectic, there's always that moment in your mind where you're like, this is going to be a you know, carnival. Or <laughs> but um, it, it, because Scott is so clear, it actually is a very cohesive carnival, I have to say. I'm trying to make it clear for people who are living today and audiences living today. I'm trying to take it in and spit it out with my own sort of twisted mind. and. It's a twisted piece, saying a lot of twisted things, and I hope that, um, you know, that if nothing else, they will walk out understanding it, as opposed to walking out and scratching their heads and wondering, what was that about? It's different. It's always, you know, you walk in, you think you got a handle on it, and then as you do it, you realize you don't, it unravels, and it moves this way and that way, and then you... You know, it's always, I got it, I got it, I don't got it. It's challenging for me to do it on this sort of big level with all these sort of diverse people to kind of create a world that feels whole and at one with itself. I feel like a shipwrecked boat that has uh, crashed on a, a shore. I don't know where I am. These people who, some people who've never really done this before, in this, well, they've done it, of course, but not in this kind of, um, Pro, not this process of doing it. So you just get this, it's very much about, it's not up here, it's down here, and down here. So that, I think, is really important for these, because these characters are all desperate, and they're all striving, and they're all, they use their bodies, and they beg, and they're, you know, they have all, all their emotions are, are really high, and, and I'm, you know, my character's like a sex addict. They're all, as well as a murderer, you know what I mean? Everything's intense, and uh, visceral, and Well, you know, as long as there are have and have nots, there's a place for the three penny opera. Mm. It's a great, great story. I think that you know the people who were buried in the walls of Studio 54 would approve of the three penny opera being done there. So hopefully. <laughs> so you excited to be here? Are you excited to be doing this? Oh, um, no, not very. No. <laughs>